So in this section, we're going to look at the subject of brainstorming as we create some ideas for um, solving business problems. And uh, we're going to include these under the heading of um, dynamics. Um, so that's where we'll, uh, we'll connect any of our, uh, our thoughts to. So uh, we move up to the brainstorming icon and um, it gives us three options. We can enter challenges, enter ideas, and look at inspiration cards as we uh, build, build a, a, a sort of wave of uh, new thoughts based around some suggestions. We could also look at the, um, the three ways of developing a brainstorming session from the task bar on the right hand side of the screen where if we hit the um, tab, it opens up our options in, in this part of the map as well. But let's close that down for the moment and just work from, from up here. So um, enter challenges. All right, so this window opens up and we can either enter our own challenge, which is uh, what do we need to do, which is let's, for argument's sake, in this window here, say um, we need to increase market share in China. Highlight the dynamic, uh, add to map, and our challenge is included in the screen below. There are a set of predefined challenges as well, which we can see are fairly repeatable ideas that are going to come into the uh, into our discussion and um, we can import and export ideas from um, from other documents and bring them into the uh, into the list as well so um, there we have uh, an opportunity to flesh out what it is we're trying to do what is the challenge what's the what are we going to brainstorm about um, next we can look at ideas this is where we can start to flesh out the thoughts. An idea one might be appoint agents in Beijing, for example, and add that to the map. Move that to start to flesh out the idea. That you can see where this is going. We can move them around the map as we see fit as we start to develop our, our thoughts. I'm not really going to actually develop an argument, I'm just uh, using it as an illustration of how the software works. And then finally, if we're stuck for ideas, we can use inspiration cards, and these will appear shortly down here. Oh, here they are. And, um, to generate or stimulate fresh ideas, we can either look at a question card. That would be, could tweaking your idea generate more uses for it? And then on the back of the card, how can you use some of these idea, uh, ideas of yours in a different way? And as we move through the cards, we can see different prompts. These are the sort of prompts that a facilitator in a brainstorming session who you might bring in from outside would help to take you through and you can see that if you're getting stuck these ideas might move you on that's what brainstorming is all about the opening up your mind to fresh creative ideas and not only are questions asked but there are image cards as well where we're accessing visual perception visual function and again on the back of the card there's a little bit of text for the brainstorming facilitator to, to use to get the group going. Let me see how the idea works here. Excuse me. And um, finally under inspiration cards, which I've just managed to close, there are inspirational words, keywords, Again, 
with text on the back of the card to give you an idea of how you might take your thinking forward. So that's stimulated brainstorming, but equally the product itself is designed, as we've shown already, to, to let thoughts flood out. So we can create a new topic, we can add a subtopic, we can flesh out the subtopic, we can quickly add subtopics to that and move them on. So quickly our ideas can start to, to, um, to multiply. And then we can take them down or move them from here to there. It's just a really fast, neat way of keeping hold of your ideas as they start to unfold before you then turn them into time and money. There's a place in the thinking phase where you can get your ideas right before taking them out to, out to the coal face. Another really helpful feature of 2012 that can be used in the ideas creation phase is what they call analysis view where several standard business grids have been made available for, um, for strategic planning sessions. So let's open the map, let's highlight topics, hold down the control key and we can walk through the map and highlight those topics that we would like to appear in the grid view. Go to the grid view and um, let's look for, in this instance at a standard SWOT analysis which is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats and we can now move our topics onto the grid and move them around according to whether we believe we've got an opportunity which plays to our strengths, which would be a nice red one, or whether we're less fortunate with an idea that's in a threatening marketplace scenario which threatens to expose one of our weaknesses. There are several templates within this module. And they're, they're, they include the, the well-known one SWOT, market analysis, effort versus impact, risk versus reward, the well-known Boston matrix, which um, talks about the relative market share. It's a great way to subject ideas to further analysis before we take them to the coal front. Get a new feature and I'm sure one that will get a lot of use as this mimics the kind of process that an external strategic breakthrough consultant would use to, um, to help you develop your strategic ideas and thinking. So uh, again, very, very helpful. Another very useful feature of My Manager 2012 is the use of markers when we start to rate ideas in a brainstorming session which can be done quickly so let's assume for the moment we've got our basic brainstorming idea and we've added some topics and then on those some additional subtopics so we've got a series of ideas emerging easy to easy to build them out And now we want to put markers on to, to each of these thoughts to gauge whether we like the idea or maybe vote on them. And if we move over to the tab bar, task pane, the tabs are now available for us to view. And uh, we can open up, let's open up, for example, the smiley's chart and move the map so we can uh, get a little bit of visibility. This idea for example we we like, we want to give it priority status. This one 
is uh, actually let's, let's sorry let's just change that to um, to happy by just clicking on it um, let's move over um, but the point here is just to observe the drag and drop capability highlight the box first and then drop in the the tag and we can search we can filter and search on these tabs as well we've also got the opportunity to highlight the box and add them from the top bar as well okay so um, the tabs can be added in in two ways and uh, it just makes the uh, the map a little bit more colorful we could always add images as we showed earlier on as well and in the top bar insert here we've got another option to add icons so let's uh, highlight over here let's insert an icon so that's another way of doing it not so good ideas sit on a map and let's us navigate through it and then we can filter the map down and just look at the ones or the twos however we uh, how we see fit we'll, we'll come on to to filtering a map uh, in a later lesson that's just to give you an impression of how in the brainstorming process these visual cues make the process a lot more um, a lot more engaging